The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Luma Imports. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad, and today we're going to take a look at U.S. Telegraph. Now this is from Super Meeple and sent to us by Luma Imports. This is a route building game where we're going to have some resources that we're going to use. But basically what we want to do is we want to try to connect two towns to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an overview on how the game is played. And then we're going to check in with Dad and his buddies as they play a turn. And then I'm going to come back and tell you what we think. So check it out. Based on player count, the rule book is going to tell you how to set up your area here and position your towns. You can see we have three towns set up. I'll show you what a town looks like a little close up here. So pretty cool. But the object of the game is basically to build all of your buildings on your sheet or connect one town to another with an unbroken line of your buildings. Now, on the right-hand side of our player board here, you can see it has different token colors, uh, backs that we're going to be putting into piles. These first three piles that have the white backs, we are going to be placing eight tokens in each one of those piles. And then the one down here actually has a black background, and we're going to be placing six buildings, uh, six building tokens on that. We're also going to start with a certain number of resource cards depending on our player order and I'll show you those cards. We have wood, water, brick, and iron or steel that we're going to be using. And I'll show you a close-up of the building tiles here on our board. It's going to tell you what you need. So if you want to build the blacksmith building, it's going to cost you a water and a steel, whereas the watchtower is going to cost you two brick and a steel. So on our turn, we're going to be uh, spending actions. Now, one of the actions we can do is we can draw buildings basically from our stacks over here, and we get to choose which stack that we want to pull, but we can do that zero or two times. Now, if we draw a building and we have the resources, we can place that immediately out on the board. And you can place anywhere on the board that you want. And you'll notice that there are resources already on the board. So we can use those resources. Uh, basically, what is adjacent or um, what the building is actually on. So you can see this requires two water and a wood. And let's just say that I had a wood uh, resource card in my hand, then I would be able to build that directly to the board because I'm using those two water resources there. Now, let's say that I didn't have that wood and I could not place this on the board immediately. Then it's going to go to my player board and it tells you what the building number is. This is 11. So I'm going to look on my board here and find number 11, which is right here. And I'm going to place that there. Now, since I'm doing the draw building action, I could do another draw and do the same thing, or I could stop. Now, anytime I stop my action, however many actions I have left, and the draw building is only zero to two, then I get to draw a resource card and put that into my hand. The other action is you can construct buildings, and that's zero to three actions that it'll cost you. So let's just say that after I had placed this on my board, I had drawn that uh, wood uh, card, resource card. So then I could place that there. That would be one action. If I had other uh, buildings on my board that I had the resources to build, I could do that up to three times. And after I build a building, I'm going to take one of these construction markers and I'm going to place it on my board there to show that I've already built that. Now you'll notice that this is broken out into different sections. We've got a section up here, section here, two uh, buildings in that section there. We have four there, we have a bunch here, four down here, and two there. Whenever we complete a section, we are going to get a little cowboy worker meeple. And what he's gonna do is he is going to allow us, we can use this 
in order to get an extra action on our turn. So having these guys is very valuable. Now, when you use the little worker guy, uh, you are getting that extra action in addition to the action that you're already taking. So if I'm drawing cards, I would be able to use him to draw another card, or I could do another draw building, or I could construct one other building. Now you'll notice some of these buildings here have uh, these black circles around them with little arrows pointing out in directions. Once you've built this, then if you get any of those surrounding buildings and you can build it adjacent on the hexes out here, then you can actually build that for free. So that's called chaining your building. Another thing you can do is you can always discard two resource cards. Uh, doesn't matter if they're identical or not back to the supply and uh, you get one resource of any other type. You can do that several times uh, for the same building construction action. So let's say you got a handful of a bunch of different resources that you can't use and um, you, you obviously need some other ones, then you can trade those in and get trade two of them in for a one. Now, whenever you draw the last building in one of your stacks, it will show that uh, it has the hex on there with the little arrow. That means that you can take the next hex off of the top of the stack and you can place it anywhere on the board to basically expand it. So if somebody has cut you off and you're trying to get from this town, say, to that town, and you can't go just a straight line, you may need to add more hexes and kind of do an end around them in order to get to that other town. And that's pretty much how you play U.S. Telegraph. So uh, let's watch Dad and his buddies play through a round because I think that's going to give you a really good idea on how the game flows. You can see how all like the buildings get to your uh, player board and how they get built onto the hexes. So let's check it out. All right, we're a little bit into the game here. So dad is green, James is brown, Hefe is his normal blue, and Chris is his normal red. So we are ready for the round and James will begin. Okay, well, unfortunately my turn is not gonna be very exciting. I need resources, I don't have any. Uh, so I'm gonna take the construct uh, building action, which is zero to three actions, but I'm gonna forfeit all three of them and just draw three resources. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. All right, um, I'm obviously going to try to t stop Tim here. Yep. But uh, there's two to one there, and to, to be able to do that, I've got to have the resources to be able to play. So this was this is a cheapie. Um, that's a, just a steel and a brick. So I am going to play a steel. And now, is it cost an extra resource to go here? Uh, yes, because you're not adjacent. You're creating a new settlement. So, so two resources? Yep, a brick Just and anything of your choice. Anything? Okay. So a brick and a water. Okay. Now, um, the next thing is to have another one that I could put down there to block the man. So I've got a, I don't have the resources for this one. I don't have the resources for this one, so I'm going to go to a blind draw and hope that I can shut him down. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Can I not the, do it again? Yeah, 55, that came from your player board, right? Oh, yes. So that means you're doing the construct, so it means you can't draw. Oh, that's right. That's right. So I have to do it from here, don't I? Correct. But now you still I want to cover it, though. Yeah. Yeah, it. that's true. I did. I did. So here's the other thing. Mm-hmm. Now, since I have presence here, it won't cost an extra one. Correct. The You've created problem, I still settlement. need to be able to have the correct things there. And I do not have it there, there. So you're right. I, I can't, I'm, 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 I'm hoping he can't build there is what I'm hoping. Well, Chris has got a turn. So I guess yeah. just draw some resource cards for your Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have actions. to do. Hope I get what I need. Yep. Yeah, maybe Chris can do it. Well... I hate that uh, everybody looks to me. Uh, let's see. I mean, Tim, you don't got it. There's no way. Just sacrificing for the greater good. The greater that, good. The greater good. <laughs> it is. So I need a brick and a wood and a resource. So 
a brick, a Except wood. It's a wood. Well, a brick, a wood, oh. and a resource. So, because I don't have the brick, I'm turning into steel. Yep. Well, and then you have to pay one more, too, because it's a... That was the extra. That That's the why I'm throwing oh. the water in. Oh, Because there's gotcha. a water underneath it. Oh, I see, I see. So, yes. Uh, Did you only have to pay one extra for the settlement? Yes. Yes. Uh, no, I one, actually two, have three, to pay... Four. You're right. Because I have four settlements, oh. I have to pay three. Oh, that's right. So, it's for each settlement. Yep, I can't do that either, folks. So... Oh. No building might be game over if he can. Uh, yeah. That'd be the fastest game of US, US Telegraph. Telegraph I've ever played. Well, thanks for the rules, Steve. <laughs> Strategy with that yeah. would be his third, fourth turn. Yeah, I can't Two, build three, that. Maybe five. All right, so let's look. Yeah, because we have to build there. I can't build that. Can't build. Can't build. I can't do it. Because it, it's one extra card Could per you I need, flip? I need three. Yeah, I've got extra. three straight up. Sure. And I don't have anything that just costs me a steel to build. Steel, yeah. steel and a water? What mm -hmm. if you flipped a token? He can't. He's constructing. No, well, he, I haven't, does I haven't done anything yet. I could draw and just hopefully oh, I see. place. You haven't done anything. And just blind luck draw something that might be able to be placed there. Yeah. Well, we have to do something, right? I can't. I cannot build any of those. Give it so. a shot. I don't want to do that yet, so let's just flip. <laughs> what Look, do you, at what do you know? Look at the draw. Three resources and a wood. Three resources and a wood to place there. Wow. Oh, you got a cheapie. How lucky was that? <laughs> oh, nice. All right, so that was one, and then I'll use my hey, Rocky. other. Hey, well, Rocky. Watch me pull well, the rabbit out of the A draw hand. and a build? So wasn't that No, the, the build part of the draw is the action. Oh, I okay. I sharpened myself then. Oh, yeah, you, I tried to correct you earlier, and I don't think you caught okay. it. So, okay. when when you do the draw, you pick one up, and you either place it here Could or place it right there, then? and then you draw another. Could you have won? Well, he doesn't want to give anything away. Yeah. So you're good. Yeah, I apologize. Oh no, you're good. It was not the best uh, example. So I'm going. To oh, I'm not going to place it. Draw here. here. I, gotta, I do have presents over there, but he ain't going to do much. <laughs> Man, I'm going to draw here. He's got he's to place another tile to get around. Yeah, yeah. Like he's gotta, so, yep. I mean, my, James. Uh, he's kind of out there on his own. So that was one round, so we're going to show you another round as well. I guess I should have been paying attention. Um, <laughs> we did what we had to do. I Yeah, I know. You blocked, I blocked. Uh, I can't believe you drew that one, though. I can't believe That's so lucky. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and draw. I think one of the, one of these tiles here, and it is one of each. Boy, that's a, that's a big boy. That's expensive. A ten, ten, ten goes. So when you do a draw action, you can either place it on your player board, or you can place it directly on the board if you have the resources to build it as part of the draw action. So I'm gonna place this here. Uh, since I drew it this turn, uh, it has one, two, three of the resources. Plus the steel to place that. Okay. And you're adjacent, and that, so the same settlement. Right, and since that is uh, one of the core buildings within mm -hmm. this, then I could place this for free? Nope, that would nope. be a construct action. That'd be a construct action. You're okay. doing draw actions. All right, so then the other draw action, I might as well just grab, oh, yeah, we're going to grab another uh, one of the core buildings. Are, are, th are these buildings named something? The, the ones that are the, the black highlighted ones here? Uh, I don't know. Mm. They are called black backed buildings. Okay, that's uh, easy <laughs> enough. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. Then I would need one of those, and that's just not going to happen on the board. So that's going to go there, and that's the end of my turn. All right. I'm going to construct. So that's going to take a brick, water, steel, and wood. And I'm going to draw up a resource for my next one, next action. And one more action, right? Damn it. I'm so close. 
Well, you drew cards. You played and drew, right? I constructed, so I can do up to three actions. Yeah, but the draw the draw has to be the end of the turn. You oh, can't well, draw and then build. Oh, you can't do no. both. Gotcha. <clears throat> All right, so that's it for you? That's it for me. I need to create some chains. I'm going to uh, draw. I'm done. Yeah, let's go ahead and draw one. With a water and a steel. So place that there for the time being. And let's go ahead and grab another one. And that's the end of my turn. So I think that gives you a good idea of kind of how the game's played. We've drawn, we've placed, we've constructed. So. Oh yeah. There's those two. Multiple ways then to I'm going to draw a nutter. An utter. Oh, oh, like what a horrible one to draw. There's freaking no way I could place this in on the board. So, yeah, my, my hope was to build something here and then quickly wrap around to this, but uh, it was going to take a while. So hopefully watching Dad and his buddies take a turn at the game uh, really gave you a good idea on how the game flows and so forth. And you can see in my example here, this is a win condition. You can see I can go from this town all the way to this town unbroken. So now let's get to what we think. I've really enjoyed U.S. Telegraph. Um, the, the game plays pretty quickly. You're pretty much doing your turns. Uh, the next player goes and does his. I don't think there's a lot of AP-ness into this because uh, really you're only doing a couple things. You're either drawing tokens and I place them on the board or you're able to build right away or you're constructing buildings off of here uh, to the main board. Uh, that's pretty much it. It really comes down to kind of doing your resource uh, management and trying to do things as efficiently as possible so that you always have the resources in order to build. Uh, being able to pull a tile off of there and do a build right away is very advantageous as far as trying to get your uh, buildings out as quick as possible. The replay on this I think is, uh, is pretty good because you can see there's a huge stack of these tiles that you're going to get to um, or that you get in the game. And so you're going to have different setups every time. You're going to basically change the board configuration by how people are blocking you, which is another thing that I like about the game. I like the fact that you can pretty much do some take that in trying to basically block off somebody uh, as they're doing this path. Um, and like I said, you can start building in different things, but when you have too many different uh, settlements, basically, that's going to hurt you. So you really want to try to be as most efficient as possible in going from one of the towns to the next. Uh, I like the fact that you have two win conditions. Trying to build all your buildings is another uh, strategy that you can employ. And getting these workers really helps with that. Uh, I really enjoy the, train, the chaining aspect of the buildings where I'm going to try to get that one building built and then do a bunch of builds at the same time for free, basically. Uh, by having those ready to go on my player board and then being able to drop them down on this board, uh, which can give you an advantage too over the other players because you're putting down a lot of buildings uh, very quickly on your turn and they're not going to be able to react as fast as possible. Uh, components on the game I think are really neat, uh, are really good. These little cowboy guys, they're pretty nice. Um, I think the hexes are pretty good. The thickness of the hexes is nice. The, um, the art of the different symbols for the resources is good. The cards themselves, while they're smaller cards, uh, they're not bad. I mean, they are what they are. They've basically just the resource cards, uh, but they've got a nice finish on them. No problems uh, or issues with that there. And then the building tokens that you put on the board, uh, they're just you know, normal cardboard tokens. So component-wise, uh, I'm pleased with that. Um, 
the 3D buildings or the town markers, I have noticed that some of these, because uh, you put them together and uh, like this one's pretty sturdy, but this other one I had, uh, you can see that sometimes they pop out. No biggie, you can just pop them right back in. And usually during gameplay, they're gonna be sitting just fine and they're not gonna have any issues. Um, the one complaint I do have is that the player boards themselves are kind of flimsy. Um, I would have liked to have seen those be a little bit thicker, but that's really kind of a minor quibble. It's kind of neat because on the back here, you can see the company, this is transcontinental. All the different colors have different, basically company names that you're doing. Uh, the artwork on the, uh, the player boards themselves, I think is just fine. And I like having the, basically the player aid down here in the bottom, uh, very legible. So really the only complaint is the fact that they are a little bit flimsy. And that's pretty much US Telegraph. Uh, like I said, I really enjoy the gameplay. I think it plays fast. Uh, as far as it doesn't feel like you have a lot of downtime on your turn, uh, the game is fun. It's got plenty of take that. So definitely one that I recommend. So that is US Telegraph, and we will catch you guys next time. If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.